episode of GMK is brought to you by the Devil's Gap Marina, located at the end of Matheson Bay Road and open all year round. Kenora, welcome to the show. <laughs> Hello! Welcome back Ooh. after a long time. And as you can see, we are not in our usual studio. No, we decided to come out and yeah. venture out into the world and sit in this nice, brisk day. Oh. Uh, the first day of the KBI, come down to the harbor front. And we're gonna, uh, we're gonna go right from here. And we are live at the KBI site. First day of the 26th year. And um, yeah, it's a, it's, a, <laughs> it's a little chilly, but you know what? How can you beat this scenery? Absolutely, you can't. It's you like, can't. It's a little different just to be uh, out in nature here instead uh -huh. of the studio. So yeah, it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to, but you know what? <laughs> it's fabulous, we're happy to be here. It's the really hair good. is blowing yeah. and I can't see without my sunglasses. So, <laughs> you know, that, that's the thing. So don't, you know what? Don't even lie to the audience. It's because you've been crying. You haven't I'm seen so me. I'm so happy to see you. I, I know. know. I'm just telling <laughs> It has it been. It has been like forever. I know, it's been about a month, I think. It's been a bit more, but since we've, you know, oh, we've all I been know. doing our own things. I know, they went on a summer hiatus. Yeah. And, and everything. So how have you been? You know what? I've been absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's been actually been uh, it's been good. I took a little holidays. I did my uh, my soccer tournament. Had our little uh, little concert. The mind the bender, bender that went well. Yeah, it all went really fantastically <laughs> well. Um, of course, the, uh, the the tournament went fantastic. Uh, a team from Brandon won. So you know, I just big congratulations to Brandon. They haven't they've never won it. So good to them. Well, it's kind of funny because my my brothers who are yep. avid soccer players and everything they tried retiring <laughs> i don't know how many times but they decided to put in like what is it the old timers yeah, or they something put, they and put they the were legends. old let me tell you the legends, legends. the legends and um i think my one brother got to play like five minutes yeah. and then he was tired and everything but they were happy because he was he was able to <laughs> see i'm just sunshine <laughs> he was able to play with his son so I was excited about that. So that was really cool. It was cool. You know what, actually, because I refed on the weekend as well. I did a refing. And the hardest game I had to ref is I refed a Legends game. Yes. And uh, I'm telling you, when you're refing the game and there's three <laughs> former refs, there's Marty, there's Derek, and there's uh, you know, a couple other guys. It was the, the, the hardest game to ref ever. <laughs> it was tough. So. But you know what? So much stuff is out. Like, I can't believe that it's KBI already. Yep. So we just finished. Harbor Fest. Yes. And I, I got to tell you, hands down, in my opinion, mm -hmm. busiest Harbor Fest weekend that I have seen in a long, long time. It was really crazy downtown. It was nuts for like the days and mm -hmm. it was all nuts. So <laughs> it was good. It was a good time. And really you know what? Kudos to anyone who has put on that car show because, from what I understand, it has been the best, like the most Absolutely. cars along. It has been wonderful, so thank you to everyone that has come out to support Kenora, to see what we're all about, mm -hmm. to give us an absolutely fantastic, busy, busy summer. And you know, the air show, I mean, we haven't talked since really the air show. Well, I know, we could, we could probably sit here for an entire hour just recapping what was going uh, on. I, I mean, know. Because, th you know, this time is, th is the busiest time uh -huh. and there's so much going on. Uh -huh. uh, so now, you know, after the KBI, we get a little bit of a break, but uh, yeah, we could sit here forever and ever yeah. talk, but we do have an hour long show for you with tons of guests, people are rolling in. Well, you know, because fun. everyone's missed us. I know. It's, everyone's missed us. They want to come back on the show with us. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, you know what, for anyone that wants to come down and see us, it's not like we're in that, you know, although we love our normal gigs. You do. We're out in the public. We're Absolutely. out here. So if you guys want to come down and give us a shout out, you know, stick your hand in the camera <laughs> to see if you can get on the air. Yeah. You come on down, bring the kids. Uh, if you, you know, birthdays or anniversaries, if you have anything that you want to say, Come on down, because we're going to be here tomorrow, too. Absolutely. And see, there's a whole other cushion right here for somebody to come down. You can sit, uh -huh. you can chat, and have a good time. So it's good. And speaking of down here right now, we do have a couple of guests waiting in the wings. Yeah. And you know what? It's kind of cold. So what, it, like, this has been a weird kind of wet summer. You know how we had a summer? <laughs> we did not have a summer. Like, the three weeks, it was, like, 
blistering hot. Yeah. But like this is like a little bit of a chilly, chilly it, morning. It ha you know what it is, and it has been really weird where you know you get those days where it's super hot, and then all of a sudden you have this, which is you kind of sitting there. I'm wishing I would have brought my sweater. I know. So like, what do you know? Like, what's it going to be like tomorrow? You know what? Let us check this out. All right. Because this is new. Because we're going to do it just from the clouds. <laughs> I'm need, no, no, what I'm going to do is, <laughs> I'm going to go back to the old techniques. There's a couple of trees. I'm going to read some moss off the trees. Okay. I'm going to look like, at the sky. You know, and then for how the leaves <laughs> blow, we'll know which way the wind's coming from. So take it away. Okay, I, I'm out of practice, so <laughs> give me some, give, forgive me, you know? <laughs> so. Oh, well, we're not all okay. Okay, so well. <laughs> see, look at this. This is going to be, this is going to be kind of good. So, <laughs> um. If you are actually, uh, if you are around, you can, don't forget, you can get a hold of us uh, through our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. We are there, which is facebook.com backslash go Kenora. You can check us out. You can also email us at goodmorningkenora at shaw.ca. Mm -hmm. So if you're on the roundabout, you're sitting on the couch right now, kind of thinking like, you know what? I want to do something. Come down. See us. Because we're going to be here. Or you know what? Because we've been away for so long, yep. you know, I'd like to, because, you know, we usually talk to people every day and everything. And because you know, with the hiatus and everything. Mm -hmm. What about like tweeting or whatever? Like tweet us like whatever your favorite part of like the summer yeah. was, you know? Cause you know, you had the music festival, yep. which was huge and it was like mm -hmm. so well received. And like you said, like the soccer tournament, yep. there was something going on, like even just like baseball, like the baseball all the time. Um, the farmer's market, I, you know what? It, they have done such a beautiful job I came down yesterday. Yep. It was so packed, and I was here. I thought, you know, I'll come here early. I came here about nine. Yeah. Packed. Well, you know, what? even when you dri drive down the behind news now behind us on the green belt, you can drive down. <laughs> um, they, they had to, you know, tell people not to park so far down because it's, oh. you know what? The farmers market this year, aside the Crystal Stokes, who will be again on later, yep. um, just about the farmers market is absolutely. Uh, it was absolutely nuts. It's been crazy. I was down here a few times, so yeah, it's very, very, very yeah. good. Um, yeah, so we're kind of, we're kind of happy. <laughs> we're getting instructions, sorry, I sort of, but yeah, other than that, you know what, it has been a really busy summer, and I've been busy, and what, you, what have you been up to? You've been, uh, well, off and around? Yeah, I, I, you know, it's the normal thing, working, I did, um, I did have a little bit, I, 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 I had an adventure, actually, this summer. Yep. Which is good for me, and, and everything, but so I was, I was forced to have some vacation, because I had, um, I had my gallbladder out, so first yeah. time having surgery and everything, so. It was kind of nice. I got spoiled a little bit, and then you know when you start having to be able to well, be independent again, like no one really does anything for you anymore. Well, <laughs> spoiled a bit. Yeah. More than normal. Yeah. Oh wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm a little spoiled. I know. So uh, again, you know what? It is. I uh, just want to say it is the first day of the uh, of the KBI. Yes. But uh, Shaw has been very very busy this year with the fishing tour. Yes. The Lund Shaw, the Lund fishing tour. So it did uh, Dryden. Yes. And Fort Francis, and now we're here at the KBI oh. to do the uh, to do this one. So it's been really busy on, on our end in the Shaw end. Very very busy. And in the Fort one, uh, big. You know, it wouldn't be. It, it would be horrible if we didn't sit here and we didn't give a big shout out to Gussie and yeah. his partner for Fantastic. winning the uh, Fort Francis tournament. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. You know what? And uh, <coughs> we had a chance to speak with him. I, I spoke with him at the studio uh, a little while ago to the show. And you know what? He, it's the first time he's won it, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. And you know what? That guy is just, he's such a prolific fisherman. Yeah. I was, uh, I was tooling around the internet and one of his big sponsors, um, I was on their website and I looked and <laughs> I actually texted him because his face is on a, a gift card. So I was just like, how does it feel, Jeff, to be on actual gift certificate, your mug on there? And he just laughed. And you know what? This is the best part about him. He said, you know what? It's not even a big deal. And that's his attitude. Not a big deal. That's what I love. You know what? That's what I love about him. He is like the most humble guy, but like he's everywhere. He is. He's, he's ever. I think he's more popular than I am. Uh, <laughs> yes. I think he's creeping up to popular for me. Like just, he's, uh, he's under my level. He's, he's going to surpass me soon, unfortunately. Yeah. Depends how he places in the KBI because he is Look fishing. Look coming. Oh, we're wandering around out here. I think we, oh, uh, can they see us? Where are you? We have a special surprise visitor. The Shaw Bear is here today. Yes, the Shaw Bear is running around to these events. Uh, <laughs> here he is, a little dance for us. Uh, but Do we, a little jig, there you go. We will, uh, we will talk to the Shaw Bear uh, soon enough. Yep. 
you know? he'll, he'll be here with us all the show. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And if you want, actually, even this morning, too, uh, with the KBI, it's, you know, there are a lot of people going around getting stuff done mm -hmm. because the boats launched this morning on the oh. first day. Very exciting. Uh, yeah. I, I did hear a, a bit of a rumor that there was a couple of mishaps. Well, you know what? It wouldn't, it wouldn't, you always have to have That's it, right. you know? And, and I wouldn't be surprised because it was like chilly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know what, I, I give credit to all the fishermen who get up that early in the morning <laughs> to go out and fish, because you know what, I don't get up that early in the morning for anything. I know, but you know what, I, you know who, because like I, I, I did this for three years, yep. they love it, they do it all the time, I give credit to Tyler the Chair and all of the directors who have to get, get up and go out there and, and do it. So, yeah. it, and it was so chilly and I'm hoping that uh, it might be a little bit warmer for them tomorrow. So what do you we're think? We're hoping, hopefully this is gonna, uh, the weather is gonna pick up and be a little nicer for the fishermen and for us on our couch <laughs> and our guests. So let's have a quick look at the weather right now. The Good Morning Kenora weather is brought to you by Casey's. <coughs> Today is a high of 17 and a low of nine. Not too bad. Tomorrow a high of 19 and a low of 13. So not, too bad. Saturday, high of 21, a low of 13, which is, you know, not too bad for the weekend. No. no, no and it does all. say that there's going to be some sun. Yes. So it'll be good. Sun is good. Yeah. You know, and again, because it's just been one of those really weird, it has been one of those weird times where it it's... It has been. You know what I mean? So, but anyway, let's, uh, let us move along here. And our first day back mm -hmm. is pretty good. We and are... Mm -hmm. I'm excited because the first guest that we can have is I get to tour a fire truck. Absolutely. So we're gonna have John Martin and Chris Tyvey here from the fire emergency services. And I hopefully, do they, do they have a hat that I can put on? We'll see. <laughs> we're gonna go to a quick break. <laughs> and when we come back, Tracy is going to be uh, running around a fire truck. <laughs> we'll see you right back here in a minute. Are you? It's gourmet pizza or whatever the night calls for on the patio at Boston Pizza. A proud sponsor of the Lund Fort Francis Canadian Bass Championship and community programming. Boston Pizza at 840 Kings Highway, Fort Francis. Oh, what a beautiful world, what a beautiful world this world could be. Oh, what a beautiful world, what a beautiful world this world Fort Francis, home of Rainy Lake, great shopping, a wonderful sense of community, and host to the Lund Fort Francis Canadian Bass Championship. The Fort Francis Chamber of Commerce is a proud sponsor of community programming. Hitting the lake for the Fort Francis Canadian Bass Championships is Lund Boats, a proud sponsor of the 2013 Northwestern Ontario Fish Tour and Community Programming. Weekend Adventurer Canada, Saturdays at 9.30 a.m. and Sundays at 11, only on CJBN. Hello! <laughs> Love that we, you know, we're out here, and I'm here, and I'm very excited because I get to wear a hat. I always like to wear a hat. And, of course, I love to be around men in uniforms. So we have got John Martin and Chris Tyvey here from the Fire Services, and a great big fire truck so how are you gentlemen very well tracy uh, i'd like to thank uh, spot tv for having us down at the harbor front uh, beautiful morning this morning um we're here to show off our uh, pumper six one of our new trucks it's uh it's a three-year-old truck and uh, we have a 800 gallon tank water on here for for fire suppression and if we run out of that water we can tie into a hydrant on the side porch okay so let's start uh by going down here so what it, so you get a call and what does this all do well you know what we'll start at the back here so we're going in this cabinet we uh we do first response for the city of kenora so we carry a little bit of medical supply equipment we have an ad and uh oxygen tank and a trauma bag got bandages, all kinds of stuff. Uh, we carry a backboard on the truck as well, so if we ever come across, we need to immobilize someone, get everyone 
package up and ready for the ambulance if they're busy. We we can do that. Um, so that's basically what's in the back of the truck okay. here. And as we move forward, we have our accountability board. So, so what does this do? Basically, as you can see oh. here, <laughs> each firefighter has two name tags on their on their helmet. So okay. when someone gets onto the scene of a call, they tag in. There's an officer that keeps track of it, the firefighters on scene, and we can keep track of who's inside the building, what they're doing, that sort of thing. So this is very important for us. Okay. Um, as you can see, we have some hand tools, fire axes, some bolt cutters, halogen bar. We carry some. Okay, so hold it. W for people who don't know what that is, what is that? Kind of a combination pry tool, axe tool. Um, you use it when you're searching inside the building, extends your arm reach by like almost okay. four feet, that sort of thing. Um, like I said, we have three extinguishers on the truck an ABC, a carbon monoxide and a foam extinguisher. Mm -hmm. So that's this side of the truck. And is there anything in, on, in this? Yeah. Oop, oop, oop. <laughs> so in here we have our spare SCBA bottles for our breathing apparatus. Okay. So all the trucks in the city have spare bottles, obviously, because when we're working in a structure fire, we're going through lots of air. Mm -hmm. um, different parts different uh, adapters for the truck, for the different hose, um, tool kit. Um, up here is a really neat piece of equipment. This is called a thermal imaging camera or a TIC. Mm -hmm. So basically what this does is it takes pictures of different temperatures and produces a screen. So I think you can see, you can see my hand in there. Okay. So we can find hot spots in the walls now. If we are inside searching a building, we can see if there's a person, an animal. So if it's so pitch black, we can see. But it's a tool, so we treat it like a tool. But so how long is a, is this a fairly new thing, or how long has this been around for? Or uh, we've had this for probably five years now, John. Uh, maybe close to the ten years. Be around there. So that is very important because. You kind of like know where not to go or how to guide around or? Well, we're overhauling and checking for hot spots there. It, it just shows where, where it's really high heat uh, where we can uh, make a complete extinguish of the fire of the structure, right? Eh? So. That's very cool. Okay. Oh, more equipment? More equipment. So over here, this is uh, kind of our main intake. So when we do run out of water on the truck, we're obviously going to tie into a fire hydrant because on a fire we're going to go through a lot of water. So this is where the water will come into the truck and up here these are our what we call our cross lays. So there's 200 feet of hose there and that's what we'd be initially pulling when we show up to a structure fire. Um, we move. Now when you guys, so when you guys get the call do you, get, you guys all dress up like in this gear and everything so like I just have this hat on my head and it's like heavy <laughs> so like these boots do you guys have to practice you know you can see it on like you know TV shows or whatever where they just it's about like do you guys have to have like some sort of a, a speed or a time of how fast you can get like because timing is everything right so how do you do all this like how, what's the record do you guys ever time each other or yeah, during practices, we'll sometimes have races, you know, who can get their stuff on the fastest. So we definitely are always practicing and just make sure we're efficient at it. So. And everything here is completely, like, all this stuff. What kind of material is it? Because, of course, it has to be all fire, you know, safety and everything. So what kind of, and, like, how much weight do you guys actually wear when you guys wear all this stuff? I believe uh, with the SCBA combined with the, the gear, the hat, the boots, uh, probably around 30 pounds of weight there. Just rough estimate. So. That's crazy. Okay, so what's next? And it, up in this cab here, the, the cab is a crew cab. So in the old days, uh, the firefighters used to ride on the tailboard, but now with health and safety, the, we have uh, fire trucks with crew cabs that guys can come right in the cab and sit uh, in these four seats. We, got, we can have four firefighters at the back and then two at the front, you got the pump operator, driver, and then the captain on the passenger side. So, so when the guys come in, they have their full turnout gear.
And then uh, there's SCBAs, which is self-contained breathing apparatus with air bottles. So it's just uh, as they're going on the way to the fire, by the time they get to the scene, they have this all strapped together. It's just a matter of putting on the strap, everything on. And then, then we got our face piece handy there. And then as soon as we're there, we're re all set, ready to go, pull, pull any hose lines off and get at her. So, so now what's up on... That side. Up here, if you uh, bring the camera up here, this is uh, the uh, uh, here. We have different levers for different hose lines on the hose bed. Okay. Okay, I got the mic. We got different levers, like I mentioned here. For uh, we have uh, like hydrant hose, uh, three-inch hydrant hose on the hose bed there, which we can tie into a hydrant. All these different levers control uh, all the hand lines that we pull off the truck. So, as you can see, there's quite a few here. And we have a, a foam system here, too, that we can uh, use foam to, to put out, like, uh, any uh, flammable uh, liquids or anything like that. And it shows gauges, the pressure of how much water we're given uh, to, the, to the nozzle man and, uh, and how much water we got in the tank and how much foam. And, and it shows the pressure of the line, so all that good stuff. This is, okay, this is very cool. I have never really been in a fire truck before. So this is all, and all you guys fit in here, and all you guys, like, so is there, like, again, like, a timing kind of thing of, do you have to do a whole set of the time that it calls? Like, what, what happens? Like, so give us kind of, like, a rundown of when you get the call, what's the procedure, like, where is everybody, like, how, do, how does everybody get together? How does everybody get in here? And, because well, it just fascinates me. Yeah. Well, when we get the call in the fire hall there, the first thing we got to do, we got to size up what we have. So we got to get a, as much information as we can on uh, on, uh, on the call, like uh, where we're going, what type of emergency, and uh, what's involved. And then uh, the first thing we got to do is get geared up with our boots, pants, coat, helmet, get that all on right away there. And then uh, whatever, this is our first truck that goes out to all structure fires. So we have... Uh, also an aerial, a rescue truck, and, uh, and a boat and a pickup truck to, for calls. So depending on the nature of the call, uh, usually this is our first truck out. And um, up to four guys at the back, and two guys at the front, and uh, we get to the scene, and then we size up uh, the scene when we get to the scene. So we got two minutes. Tracy, we got two minutes. <laughs> well, there's, there's, okay, well, you know what? Let's get back outside. Okay. So we'll get Chris in here too, um, or we'll get come out. Oh. If the cameraman wants to take a look at this nozzle here, we can operate this uh, nozzle on top of the truck. Here, I'll take this for Kay. you if you want. If you take a look up there, we can control that uh, radio control with. Uh, um, we have that. Uh, it's a remote control uh, pad there that that we have on the truck. And uh, so we can uh, stand away from the truck and operate the nozzle instead of from inside. So we get a better view how where that nozzle's going to, eh? So. so now with the new building, how have you guys been liking the, the new, have you noticed a difference? Because you guys are very, very important because it, it seconds can matter in like a fire and everything. So how has it been? Have you had found that you know, everything has been great. Like, like, well, I'm, hopefully you haven't really had to go out because that's the big thing is you don't really want to be that busy. But um, have you found that you like it over there? Like, has it, has it made a difference? Oh, it's a great new building. We're very lucky to have the building. Uh, as far as response times go, like, we're still making our response times. Um, some of the people that are at the far ends of the city, it does take us longer to get there, but... Um, yeah, we're, uh, we're really liking our new fire hall. So one question before we have to wrap up, and I know that, but one thing I've always wondered is that you can't, I, I, I don't know, unless, it, unless I'm wrong, is there like usually a fire hydrant everywhere that you go? Because like, what if you have to go somewhere where there's not a fire hydrant? Then like, what is it that you usually do? Um, when we have a working structure fire, if it's say somewhere out near Hilly Lake, for example, we don't have fire hydrants out there. So what we'll do automatically, if it's a known structure fire, all four districts in the city of Kenora get paged. And the other districts have tanker trucks, which have a lot more water on the truck. So we'll do what's called a tanker shuttle. Okay. And trucks will just keep 
going to the nearest hydrant or lake, filling up, and that's how we supply the water for those fires. Well, you know what? I'm sure that we can go on forever and ever and ever, because I can. But John and Chris, thank you very much for joining us on our first day back at KBI. We're going to throw back over to my co-host, Chris, on the couch with our former co-host, Tracy Shire, to see what she's up to. Chris? Welcome back, everyone, and welcome back to the set, Tra my, the other Tracy in my life. <laughs> Tracy Shire, you, how are you? Good, I'm doing really good, thank you. Excellent, you know what, it has been quite some time since you uh, you graced me with your presence. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it has been a while, eh? Yeah, yes. But what a nice day to be on the harbor front on a couch. You know what, this is, this is actually... I could do the show every day like this. Yeah. <laughs> Whether the snow and rain, rain and wow. umbrellas. <laughs> yeah, maybe uh, maybe if they didn't even show up, I'd still come here to do the show because this is this is a beautiful day. It's a beautiful environment. Yeah. So thanks KBI for KBI like. day one. Yeah. Cute, big fishy here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Absolutely. You know what? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm very excited because you know some of my favorite uh, favorite gentlemen fishermen. Yeah. Uh, Gussie's in it. Yeah. You know, you know, and Gussie, you know, How always many teams well. do we have today? Or you know, I, th I think they are at capacity. They have yeah. full capacity, yeah. Right on. And so they left at 6.30 this morning, You right? betcha, yeah. yeah. I think there was a couple uh, little issues. I know uh, another uh, a friend of mine and Shaw employee, Jay Samsel, mm -hmm. he's in the KBI this year. I want to give a big, uh, you know what? Go for it, Jay. You deserve <laughs> the win. I think I didn't get some boat problems this morning, but he's out and underway. And all the, to all the fishermen who come out from all over the place. Yeah, you know, have fun. Be safe out there. Yeah. Enjoy the enjoy the fishing today. It's a gorgeous day for it. So absolutely, you know, it's, it's always exciting because you never know who's going to place and who's going to win. I mean, yeah. you know, what? it's going to be it's it's going to be a good time. Right on. So yeah. So how's how's life treating you? How's things? You haven't it's seen good. you for a while. It's good. No complaints. Yeah. Yeah. Just looking. Nice. So you got to I got to ask you, how much do you miss me? Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Let me rephrase this. How much do you miss the show? Oh, the show? I do miss it. I heard that you guys have uh, been on hiatus and... Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? We have, you know, people's holidays and... Uh, <laughs> yes, Tracy, I miss you too. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit though, right? Hey, do you know anything about fishing uh, for bass? Uh, do I know anything fishing for bass? I know nothing my about guess, fishing for I, bass. Yeah, neither do I, but my guess is a minnow with a lead um, hook yep. and... Um, jigging on the bottom no you know what the, uh, to be honest i have with you, no idea I, I hear there's a bunch of different ways to do it i mean i've gone out um i had the pleasure last summer of going out uh for an afternoon with gussie yeah. to, to shoot some stuff and the way he you know even his top lure yeah i mean this the guy is so amazing he he casts it lands yeah. he reels in a fish wow and then uh, i've went, i've been gone fishing a couple times this summer and I can sit there forever. I can fish with dynamite oh. and never catch anything. So you're asking the wrong guy about fishing. Yeah, me, I lay in the boat with the fishing rod, and there we go. Oh, bye, fire guys. Thank you. Yeah, you know, fire guys are up. That was a very good interview. We like it. Yeah, So that's cool. Going into the future, so you, you think you're going to have enough time to, to come back and maybe, uh, maybe host again? I sure would like to. I don't know. I'd have to talk to my boss. <laughs> oh, yeah. don't worry. You know what? Get the permission. I've got a guy. He's an executive producer. He can talk to your boss. <laughs> this guy's got some clout. He's got a bit of weight. Yeah, get your ta your people to talk to my people, and <laughs> that's pretty much how it goes. Yeah. So yeah, so no, it's um, it's good. You've been busy. And you're uh, like yeah, so well. busy working, raising baby. And yeah. yeah. How's how's the how's getting the some sun? I see this. Yeah. You're nice and tan, looking oh, good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, it feels good to be in the summertime again. Absolutely, it feels good to be out here in the in, in the nice weather to enjoy this this fantastic week. Yeah, I love Lake of the Woods. It's good to be home. Mm -hmm. You know, I was thinking that the other day that uh, you know what. Best place to place, best place to live, hands down. Yeah. Kenora Terrier, just for the sun and the, the weather. And absolutely, of course. I do feel uh, a little bit for the fishermen. It's got to be a little chilly. Well, you know, they've got their windbreakers and all their gear and stuff, eh? And so. It's true. I'd rather be on the lake fishing. So, um, are you allowed to go to your secret spots on the lake? You know, to go go get these fish, or? Absolutely. You know, they could be pre-fish all week, right? Yeah. So they come out. All the fishermen. I know that Jay Samson was out pre-fishing, but they all go pre-fish, yeah. and then they uh, on their. On their fish finders, they mark the location with GPS, and that's where they go back. And they, uh, yeah. yeah. So I do know that it's a huge. There's a huge, huge, uh, like I guess you could say, science behind all of the, uh, yeah. all the prep it takes to, to fish. And it looks good under the tent, eh? It does. It really looks good. I think it's yeah. going to be a really, really good year. I mean, later on in the show, a little bit, we are going to have the uh, the chairman, the organizer, uh, Tyler Johnson. He's going to come on. Yeah. And yeah, we're going <laughs> to we're going to talk to him a little bit about uh, all the preparation that goes into putting on this event. Yeah. Because I mean, I, I'm doing the soccer thing. It's it's one thing, you know what? But it's a smaller event to do the KBI. It's 26 years yep. 
of doing the KBI. So it's a huge, huge Way undertaking. Way back in the day, in the CJBN days, mm -hmm. um, we were down here. It was like a, a co-op that I was doing. Yeah. So, yeah, I remember those days. Oh, yeah, the back in the days of the co-op. It's actually kind of funny. Imagine the people that I, I have a couple of friends that used to... Uh, we still we have to laugh because he used to co-op and he used to work at Master Control yeah. like 20 years ago. So yeah. yeah, it's very very cool. I mean, there's lots VHS of them. <laughs> yeah, all the, the old school stuff. Yeah. Very very good. So yeah, it's gonna be good. But next, Tyler will be on. Who's gonna come on? And Tyler's going to uh, <laughs> talk to us a little bit. Tracy, thanks very much for coming on. Thanks for having me. It was mm -hmm. a pleasure. Absolutely. You know what? It's, it's really great to see you. Really good to have you back. Likewise. And, uh, likewise. If you can ever uh, if you can ever get away from work again, you're always welcome to come uh, share a couch. Awesome. Awesome. We are going to go to a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to bring on Tyler Johnson, and he is going to regale us with the stories of KBI. Ride on down to the London Fort Francis Canadian Bass Championships with your new set of wheels from Sunset Country Ford, a proud sponsor of community programming. Sunset Country Ford on Kings Highway in Port Francis. On August 18th, friends and family of Rob Blair gathered in his backyard. They were from all walks of life. Some of them held balloons, gray ones, each one signifying a year of his life lived after being diagnosed with a brain tumor. Brain tumors take too many lives. There is no cure. They are indiscriminate and can affect anyone. Your donation helps lift the burden of a brain tumor. The Duke's Power Sports, two miles west of Fort Francis on Highway 11, offer a broad variety of tools and sporting equipment and are a proud sponsor of the Lund Fort Francis Canadian Bass Championship and Community Programming. Online at www.thedukes.com. Welcoming all of the out-of-town anglers to the Lund Fort Francis Canadian Bass Championship is La Place Rendezvous Hotel and Convention Center proud sponsor of community programming. In my game, we play with a bigger ball. It's called a softball, but it's not soft at all. In my game, in my game, the pitcher throws under him. Under him. Under him. In my game, in my game, we play seven innings. Seven innings of fast, fantastic fun. Softball. <laughs> my game. My game. My game. My game. Over a quarter million Canadians call softball their game. Make it yours. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome, Tyler. Thank you for having me. You know what? Uh, well, I, you're kind of a big deal in this entire process, I think, <laughs> so we should probably talk to you. <laughs> yeah, well, I appreciate you having me on here. It's a very busy week for us. Um, it's nonstop preparation. Absolutely. Nonstop action. Up this morning at 530 don't expect to be home until 11, and uh, <laughs> that's day in and day out for the KBI. Sweet. Well, and this is your is this your second year or first year doing the uh, as like the big Kahuna. This is my first year as a chair. Yeah. I've mm -hmm. I've been with the KBI now for five years. Mm -hmm. yeah. Started as an advisor when Tracy was the chair. Mm -hmm. Then I was nice. director of anger services for three years and sort of tutored under Duncan, and took over this year. So, uh, are you enjoying it so far? I mean, you just said you know like from 5 a.m. to 11, you're going to be here. Uh, but how is it? How is it? It is an amazing experience. Like, I got to tell you, it is so much fun. Uh -huh. You spend all year stressing about it. We have meetings that start in September. We do it once a month throughout the winter. Then we ramp it up to every two weeks and every week, and it's just nerve-wracking, nerve-wracking. Then you get to the big show, and my board is phenomenal. We've got um, 15 people who are extremely dedicated. They... They know what they're doing. It makes my job so much easier. But at the end of the day, it all comes down on me, whether it's good or bad. And I, I'm really lucky to have such qualified people with me. Well, you know, I, I know, talking from experience, because I was in your shoes, and it's true. We talk all year long about volunteers and people in the community. And this is probably, I, I still say that probably one of my when I think about something that, you know, it's, it's a great achievement, it's something that I just love to do, this was, being part of this kind of a organization and this event is, you, you can't even, there's not really any words, because it is stressful, but it's so much fun, and I always believe that, like, you know, when you were with, on the board as Angler Service and that, the chair is, it, it does come down to the chair, 
but without the directors and them knowing what they're doing, like it's, it, it, it really is, it's the biggest team effort and you know, it, it does, it starts every year. Like I think, you know, from when we stop now or after Saturday, we may be like a month, if that. Yeah, we're really hoping to get back on it a little earlier this year. We had uh, some changeover, obviously I took over chair. Um, we had a little bit of restructuring, so we want to get right on our budget, figure out where we're at, and uh, one of the big things about this event is succession planning also, because as much fun as it is, it can really burn you out. We're mm -hmm. talking about a year-long commitment, and then this event itself is all day, every day, for starting Tuesday right till <laughs> Sunday. I mean, it's cleanup day. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we didn't have people coming up to fill the roles that other people just uh, need a break from, the tournament wouldn't survive. Right. So if anyone's interested in getting involved, I can't tell you how much fun it is. It is a lot of work and it is a time commitment, but the rewards are uh, unparalleled. Far outweigh, far outweigh. Absolutely, so what is the, uh, so, so far, everything's gone kind of as well, you're, you're kind of smooth along, you have your stress levels dropping, you're... Oh yeah, and it's the funny thing, as you lead up to the tournament, it gets, the stress level rises, and then when it starts, you're in the show and it just whoosh, starts to fly mm. by. Everyone just takes their job and runs with it. Um, and so right now, I, I have to admit, everything has been better than expected. We had registration just kept coming in right up till yesterday. We got, got anglers, got good numbers. Our sponsors came out in droves, our volunteers came and filled up all the spots. I mean, it doesn't happen overnight, and when you start planning a year in advance, mm -hmm. you're stressed out because it takes a long time to get everything <laughs> filled up, but man, it all came together really nicely. That's fantastic. It's fantastic to hear that, uh, you know, it, it go again. So you're, you're going to sit in this role for another year? You figure you're going to... Oh, yeah. I'm doing this again next year for sure. You've you got to do at least two years to yeah. get your feet wet and then hopefully put on the show of a lifetime. Well, you know, like for me, like I knew that I was so nervous and I was like almost sick <laughs> until the end of uh, like today. Like, so the first day, cause then you've gone through everything once. So like once you get registration done, okay, you're done. Like you've over it. And like now after like weigh in and everything, it'll just get, oh, okay. Like this is, this is kind of cool. But what a lot of people don't know is that not only is a KBI for a uh, huge tournament, we've been doing it for now 26 years is, is this year. Yes. But another big thing that has really been going on strong is Kids KBI. And we have, you have gotten grown such a strong entertainment directors that there's tons of stuff going on. So for people that, you know, it's not just coming to fish, you can come down like all day. Kids are starting to pile in here for Kids KBI. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kids KBI is a huge part of this event. Hopefully we're grooming young anglers who want to come and join the mm -hmm. tournament when they get older. Um, and, you know, we have to thank everybody who helped us put this together, not just the directors, but all the volunteers mm -hmm. and our sponsors. I'm telling you, year after year, our sponsors come out and make this event happen. We're, uh, we're a tournament that gives back all the money we get for registration back to prizes. We don't make any money. We're just doing this for the community mm -hmm. and for for a good time. So please, everybody, come out and support the KBI. We've got local entertainment. we got uh, Piston Broke. we got Dave Casey playing. We have a kids' movie night tonight. Um, we got good food under the tent, mm -hmm. and it's a great atmosphere. And we, we have charities. We have, we've given to charity every single day not only with charity barbecues, but we have 50-50 draws that are all going back to charity. Yeah. So this whole event is for the benefit of the community. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what, on, on behalf of, on, on my side, on behalf of Sean, Good Morning Kenora and myself, you know what, thanks very much for putting on a great event. You're doing a wonderful job. It's not easy to chair, it's not easy to take this and, and lead it. So, you know what, um, thanks very much to yourself and the, and the board and the chamber of the KBI and all the volunteers to putting this on. Because you know what, this is a great event. Kenora loves it, it needs it. You know what? It's absolutely fantastic. So I just want to give one quick shout out. I know I'm, I'm kind of pointing <laughs> thing, but I do want to say, as, as, as being on here, Lund, like it is a Lund tournament. We couldn't do without it. There's lots of boats down here. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know what? Shaw, from my split part, from Tyler's part in that, mm -hmm. what you guys been able to do to get KBI and everything back on the map with, with the live broadcast and everything, kudos. We thank you. It's been a great event. And we're going to take a quick break and we're going to come back with Deb Novak. Thanks, Thanks, Tyler. Thanks for having me, guys.
Canadian Bass Championships is Lund Boats, a proud sponsor of the 2013 Northwestern Ontario Fish Tour and Community Programming. It's gourmet pizza or whatever the night calls for on the patio at Boston Pizza, a proud sponsor of the Lund Fort Francis Canadian Bass Championship and Community Programming. Boston Pizza at 840 Kings Highway, Fort Francis. Brought to you by Earth Rangers. The warmer it gets, the earlier this melts. Polar bears rely on Arctic sea ice for hunting. If the ice melts too soon, they have trouble catching enough food. I became an Earth Ranger to help scientists learn how we can help save our kings of the Arctic. So what are you waiting for? Let's bring back the wild. Go to earthrangers.com, become an Earth Ranger, and start your polar bear campaign today. Weekend Adventurer Canada, Saturdays at 9.30 a.m. and Sundays at 11, only on CJBN. Fort Francis, home of Rainy Lake, great shopping, a wonderful sense of community, and host of the Lund Fort Francis Canadian Bass Championship. The Fort Francis Chamber of Commerce is a proud sponsor of community programming. <laughs> Welcome back, and we are oh, back oh, live. We're up? Well, well, that's what I thought. <laughs> I don't know. Well, yeah, we're just like sitting here going like, oh, the three stooges right now. <laughs> well, you know what it is. It's <laughs> we, <laughs> we are back live from the KBI setting up down at the harbor front. And as you can see, we are on a lovely, this is much better than our chairs. Oh, absolutely. This is comfortable. the Easy Home oh, hot, hot Seat, seat. which yeah, has been seat. generously donated and everything. And you will see it every single day up on the stage. This is where... You know, at the final day, at the weigh-ins, mm -hmm. the, the anglers sit here. So whoever's in number one for the time Very being, cool. they sit in the hot seat, seat to see if anyone is going to take their spot. So and you'll you know see this every day. Right. And if you haven't watched the KBI weigh-ins, uh, you should. I mean, it's yeah. going to be, we're doing it on Channel 10. Mm -hmm. uh, so for the next few days. And then on CJ, we have the live finale. Yes. So uh, fishermen are going to be coming in and out of this seat a lot. Mm -hmm. This is the hot seat. So thanks very, very much for easing on Yeah, every day at like 5 o'clock. Really? But, you know, get down here because we do, Shaw does go live yeah. nationally yeah. on for our the top 10 boat parade and for the final weigh-in. So that's exciting. So it enough is. of that. How are you, Deb? Good. Great. Welcome back to the Great. show. It's been such a long been time a long since we've time. seen you. So, how are things? What's things new? Things are good. I think we might be done our barbecue season. Ooh. Wow. Already, Ooh. eh? Diamonds and Ice was the big finale. Yeah. And so, I um, think I might give that barbecue a break. Wow. Nice. Diamonds and Ice was really big, too, eh? It was really It was yeah. huge. It was wonderful. It was a long weekend. Yeah. I can make a lot, a lot of my friends went in to play in it, and they just they said uh, every year it's an amazing time. Mm -hmm. It's really good, and you know what, it it does sadden me a little bit to just know that your barbecues are done because that signifies almost signifies the end of summer. Yeah, but as soon as I say I think we're done, someone's yeah. gonna Something call comes me <laughs> and say, "Hey, we need a charity barbecue." So, and you'll never say no. No. Hey, Deb, I need a charity barbecue probably tomorrow for lunch. <laughs> so I don't know what you're doing, but uh, I don't need 300 hot dogs. So I'm just uh, saying. I, guess, yeah. I think I'm taking a day or two off. Oh. So you're taking a day or two off from um, barbecuing, but you had just mentioned that you're going to be doing some popcorn. We're going to be here tonight. Yeah. And it's funny because Catherine from Second Street Bakery, where we get our signature hot dogs from, yep. called me yesterday and said, hey, don't you need any hot dogs for KBI? And I said, nope, we're doing popcorn. So we're doing popcorn yeah. under the tent for the movie tonight. That's very cool. Mm -hmm. oh, That's so very, very cool. Yeah, what time is all the... Movie starts at 7, and it's epic. Oh, very and nice. And we did it last year. It was a ball. The yeah. little kids had a ball. <laughs> the TV is so big. I mean, yeah. it's unbelievable. So you can sit anywhere you want and... See the movie? That smell of freshly popped popcorn. Oh, yeah, I know. Almost nothing like it. Nothing you know, like it. It would almost be just... The only thing that could make it better is if you had that smell of the Smokies. Yeah. <laughs> For lunch. You know, 
Uh, lunch is a few hours, Deb. I want to share. You got to your Barbie before lunch. Maybe on. we'll have to come over to Shaw one Tuesday and fire up the yeah. Barbie. Yeah. There you go. And yeah. we could do the show from outside while oh, we're barbecuing. That would be a good idea, too. See? Hey, Cam. Yeah. Hey, Jack. Yeah. Hey, See, everyone. Right, Jack Dawson. Jack. Okay. Yeah. okay. Jack Dawson is looking at us right now going, what are they doing? <laughs> I mean, it Set can't it be it can't be any cooler down by that lake than it is right like now well, in August. So fantastic. <laughs> okay, I'll look at my calendar and I'll get back to you guys. We'll come so, for a Tuesday. Perfect. We love it. Uh, so triple play. So now it's kind of like Diamonds Nights, the last thing. So now uh, you've shi you probably shifted. You're full on hockey. Yeah. So that's hockey starting for my family. Well, math anyway. registration is going to be starting too. Is coming. Yeah, the last week of August, the week school starts. Mm -hmm. So now I'm getting my registration forms ready and. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I know that uh, I got to email my son. My son's going to pre-competition gymnastics. Yay! And I learned David. something very, very um, uh, sobering. I saw the cost of pre-competition <laughs> pre <laughs> gymnastics. And I just kind of went and said, for the first time, I kind of said, you know what? I kind of wish he was in hockey because then I could call Deb Novak <laughs> and say, give me some equipment. <laughs> yeah, there's not too much for equipment, equipment for your ass. No. Yeah. No. no. So yeah, but you know what? It's, so it is that season. So yeah, mass registration. And, it is that uh, season. Um, I'm still collecting equipment. So oh, if anybody's sorry. growing out of their stuff, give me a call. Um, anybody wants to pre-register for mass registration, give me a call. We can do that too. Okay. Perfect. And uh, when, you're, when we're talking with the uh, with people donating stuff, and now this, this is the time where you still get lots and lots of things being donated yes. in your bins. Yep. I bet you I clean the rec center out once, at least once a week, maybe twice. <laughs> Wow. Because people will come in with a huge hockey bag, mm -hmm. and that takes up a lot of space in that lobby. So, I can imagine. So <laughs> I think you think this is kind of time, too, that people now are just sort of looking at their stuff going, well, it's the end of summer, so I don't need these cleats, and I don't need this, and I don't need yeah. that. What do you do with it? So, so what I do need is a larger pair of hockey pants, a larger pair of shoulder pads, mm -hmm. and a different pair of gloves or whatever. So, yeah, give oh. me a call. Absolutely. So, you, so you're going to do the popcorn. You, you said you're going to take a little bit of time off. Are you going to kind of recoup? I'm going to recoup because it's... Triple A Midget Official Tryouts this weekend, and yeah. I have a skater there, so I'm going to be in Vermilion Bay all weekend. Oh wow! 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 <coughs> so yeah, um, everything else, anything else going with, uh, with Triple Play? How did you do this summer? Is like, it, what it, when's it? When's the time that you sit down and say, compare last year to this year? Yeah, as like when did your years end? Uh, September, like ne like August. Okay. So my year starts Ooh. September to September. So. Okay. Once we get through tonight, mm -hmm. and um, I can do all the tallying in the next week or so before mass registration, then I'll know where we are. And how do you feel? Like, have you? Do you feel that it just very good? Like, you know, I like think we had a really good summer. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, very excellent. So, uh, do you, uh, you? Before we go, you, do you set goals? Do you have a goal in mind for next year? Is it? Do you say we want to make X or donate no, X? No, I'm just happy to make whatever. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah. Well, Deb, thank you. It's always a joy to have yeah, you on it's here. It's so nice on the, the easy couch. home. It is Isn't nice. that like so fun for the it's easy home? Yeah, hot seat. It's great. It is great. Okay. So, well, we're going to yeah. take a quick break, and we're going to be back with Crystal Stokes to talk about uh, what's going down on the harbor front and everything. So we'll be right back after these seconds. Gourmet Pizza, or whatever the night calls for, on the patio at Boston Pizza. A proud sponsor of the Lund Fort Francis Canadian Bass Championship and community programming. Boston Pizza at 840 Kings Highway, Fort Francis. Brought to you by Earth Rangers. The warmer it gets, the earlier this melts. Polar bears rely on Arctic sea ice for hunting. If the ice melts too soon, they have trouble catching enough food. I became an Earth Ranger to help scientists learn how we can help save our kings of the Arctic. So what are you waiting for? Let's bring back the wild. Go to earthrangers.com, become an Earth Ranger, and start your polar bear campaign today. The Weekend Adventurer Canada, Saturdays at 9.30 a.m. and Sundays at 11, only on CJBN. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome, Crystal Stokes and KBI Welcome. Kids. Yeah, yes. KBI Kids are getting ready to go down on the docks, 10 a.m. Yeah. yeah. Very exciting. So you have a whole bunch, huh? Who yeah, are these so who are these? Young we'll start over here. What's your name? Jordan. Jordan. What's your name? Liam. Sophie. Abby. Abby. Logan. 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 So are you guys excited to do this? Yes. 
Yeah, so have you done it before? Or is no. This, no, this is your first year? What? First Ooh, year and you get to be good. on TV? High yeah. five on that there one. Wow. Very good. So is anybody else, uh, is this all your first years? Have you done yeah. fishing before with KBI? Okay. No. No? No, no Jordan? This is so exciting, first year. It is exciting, very much. Do you like fishing? Have you ever fished before? Yeah. Yeah? Ah. Do you like fishing, Sophie? I love it. Yeah. I can't go fishing. That is so cool. Yeah. Like, what do you like to fish for? What do you like to get? I never catch anything. No? <laughs> do you know, you know what, what you're fishing that's for today? Okay. Yeah. You're fishing for? Bat. Bat. Yeah. No, that's right. Logan, don't worry about it because I've been I, I've, I've been around a lot longer and I haven't caught anything either. So yeah. you've got a good shot at doing it. You do. Okay. Yeah. Well, good luck to you guys. Have fun today. Yeah. Okay. Go see moms. Go All see right. Moms. Go see moms. Thanks, guys. Good luck, guys. See you later. Oh, Miss Stokes. Hello, Crystal. Yeah, this is a cozy seat. It is very oh, nice. Isn't this wonderful? Like this. I'm a little uh, shocked. It's not red though. Well, you, uh -huh. know, it's, yeah. you know, you know why it, it can still be black because as soon as the sun hits it, this is going to heat up. <laughs> yeah. So it's still going to be a hot still seat. Still going to be a hot seat. Still <laughs> going right. to be no and, hot seat. Yeah. And frankly, I'm sitting on it, so it's still a hot <laughs> so seat. So it's still a hot seat. You're right. You're right. <laughs> well, it's been a fun summer down here. No yeah, kidding. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, first, welcome actually, back. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and uh -huh. I came back to uh, yeah to a full slate. Really. Yeah. So no kidding. It's, uh, this is kind of the end of the big big run. We've got a little break before Lobster Fest comes up. Lobster Fest is on the 24th. That's the, uh, the annual Rotary event, so they'll be here. They're selling tickets all week long, and, uh, yeah. and uh, make sure you can get them at Safeway, too. But, yeah, come and join us on the 24th. That's well, cool. you know, the other thing that I have said, like, kudos to you guys for is the um, big thing that's happening down here in the summertime is some weddings. Yes, Ooh. yeah. You know what? Other than Lobster Fest, I'm now wedding central Ooh. until... Uh, until the end, which is uh, yeah, because you had like what six? Mm -hmm. I have seven. I have seven. One is done, and I have seven or seven more to go. That's fantastic. Seven yeah. more to go? No, sorry, six more to go. Yeah. Six more to go. Yeah, really? Six more to go. I thought they were going like from like July, but you still have six. Yeah, I have still six to go. Holy! Wow, that was fantastic. Yeah. And it's neat to see they're using the venue in lots of great ways. Um, well, yeah. Lots of re I have f weddings here, not just receptions. Uh -huh. the, the boardwalk has been great for photos. Uh -huh. and yeah. Yes. Well, you know, I have to say it's a funny story because we had some guests that came back up to the hotel. And they're saying this is by far the friendliest town, oh, that's most great. accommodating town. I'm going like, really? They're going like, you know, we walked around the waterfront. It's beautiful. We heard some music and some great smelling food. And there was this whole bunch of people down the tent. And they actually went in, had a drink with someone. And then the one person said, and then it was kind of weird because we saw someone in like, a wedding dress and we thought <laughs> oh my god we crashed a wedding <laughs> but everyone was so great and they just said like this is by far the place to be so Ooh, that is awesome crashing, this is the place to go yeah <laughs> well, if, 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 yeah you want to crash a wedding no, come on be, down no 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 i didn't mean it that <laughs> way <laughs> Tree, tracy laughed with personal endorsement she'll send out the dates and you can come That's crash right. a wedding I'm in. Right. So I'll put some extra security. All of a sudden, <laughs> security <laughs> is like, yeah, it has heightened. That's right. <laughs> well, yeah, it hasn't been a good year. I mean, I, this is kind of the uh, the tent's been up for the second year now. Yeah, so yeah. We're we're just it's like old hat now. These guys yeah. are doing great. The farmers market is just a, a boom. I tell like, it's, you, it's huge. It's incredible. Yesterday's market was on par with last week's. These are our, by far our two busiest yeah. weeks, and uh, the vendors are happy, happy, happy. I had seven mm. leave by noon yesterday because they were sold out. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's crazy. It's it's been it's been a lovely year, and so, we still have over half of them to go. So, so like keep coming. for like numbers and everything. Like I was saying, like just for me being around and everything that. I don't know if it was just me, but Harbor Fest weekend Harbor Fest seemed to have been huge. like stupid yeah. busy. Well, yeah. it, it, great, like yeah. fantastic. Like trust me, get even more stupid busy. But <laughs> it was it was insane. Yeah. Like the it was, cars along the waterfront. Shots really? shots and of you know the kids zone going. Yeah. And Dean Gunnerson was a great draw. That three thousand people came out for the Sunday show. That's oh. It was you incredible. Know, and I, I came down with my kids on the Sunday. And all the things like I mean, the, the bouncy castle, all the stuff to do. We were here for an hour and a half. Yeah. Like it just they uh -huh. didn't. The kids didn't want to leave. It was yeah. so amazing just to to be down. Yeah. So yeah, you know what? It's congratulations. Well, it's, I, I've never seen the cars. Like that's what yeah. freaked me. Like yeah. even the cars on yeah. the other. On the other <laughs> side. Everyone's like, yeah. wow. No, we're loving it. And the nighttime shows again, great, great crowds. Yeah. It was uh, and it was a, it was well run. We well, how mm. can you go wrong with honeymoon suite? You know, Ario Speedwagon and mm -hmm. Starship. Like. 
you know, I just can't fight that feeling anymore <laughs> of how much I love Summer in Kenora. Ooh. We exhausted you know? all of our jokes last week, so I'm glad someone's still keeping them going. Are you and kidding? Like, man, me and my best friend, or else we reckon that in high school, I when know. we used to, like, drone out our biology teacher, we would just write out the lyrics to, like, <laughs> like <laughs> Starship and Madonna. Like, I can't fight the feeling. And I'm like, so you have, it's the 80s, you know? Right. I had I to send my sister on. a little clip. I was like, come on, you remember this. Yeah. It was good. Well, even, you know, I, I couldn't attend, but I mean, you'd hear the music again, and I was sitting there, and I'll, I'll admit, I'm not a fan of the 80s music, but as soon as you start oh, hearing... Right. What's the fun in that? I'm too How young. Can you not? I'm, clearly, too, I'm clearly, clearly too young, young to and know that music, you know what? but it was and so good just to hear it, you know, kind of... And you know, again, with the fireworks, the amount of people Ooh. that I talked to up at yep. the hill and everything, just saying, like, we've so. never seen fireworks yeah. like this yeah. before, yeah. and it's they like, that's And to the music, did you catch the music yeah. part? Yeah, yeah. it was yeah. Oh, and there's, Well done. There's a reason why people have said that per capita, like, I don't want to be too politically incorrect or anything, but from what I've heard, mm -hmm. per capita, we we're like in the top five yeah, for, fi fireworks. for fireworks in yeah. Canada. Yeah. yeah. Did you happen to check out Louisa here too? Oh. The boats all parked there on Saturday night oh, were gorgeous. The sunset boats. with all the just, masks. It, it was just like amazing. Yeah, it, was it was very really intense. Good. We were really happy to have them this year back at the harbor front and they were uh, they were happy to be here. They uh, they sailed out of here on, on Sunday morning out through the gap and uh -huh. uh, yeah, the race is on. I'm excited to hear it. And so for next year, I know that, I mean, I've already booked a tent for next year. I mean, we, right. I think we did that like two days after, after the mind. You had to. You had to. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'd say I'm two thirds booked for next summer already. Wow. Yeah. 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 And repeat, I mean, mostly repeat events and yep. some more weddings. Well, you know what, for the most part, we're already booked for like, for, for people coming in. Yeah. Like yeah. It, it's just, it's, it's crazy. It's fantastic. Yeah. You know, you know what, it's just kind of kudos to the, the city's done such an amazing job yeah. and really, I mean, cause how many, it wasn't that long ago, maybe like three or four years where people are like, what are we going to do? What are we going to yeah. do? And they're all yeah. kind of panicking, but now we fast forward a little bit yeah. and And now Shazam, it's like, it's we don't have it. enough time yeah. to I know do you anything. put this up and you think, how are we going to fill yeah. it? But I'm like, it's, you know, I mean, I, I, I definitely still scout out a few, but there's a lot yeah. of, a lot of people have just come and said, what a venue. We just, we want to be here. Absolutely. Well, you know what? And there's no better way, because like, I, I think typically like there's, there's some other small stuff that goes on, like AYA yeah. is still here on the 24th. Uh, we have the case Small Light Classic 24th, yeah. the uh, Lobster, Lobster Fest. Fest that same yeah. weekend. But KBI is like, it's, it's almost like a legend. It, it's historically, and, yep. and sad to say people, from almost, I would say, the weekend of the soccer tournament. Yeah. Those two, Those three. three weeks, craziest time in Kenora. And it's almost like you say, okay, KBI is almost the end of the whole, yeah. I we guess, get to take hecticness. A deep you can take a deep <laughs> breath. KBI, yeah. And there's some small little things. Like, you don't get to take a break because you guys no, have no, been we're still going, amazing but, yeah. at, at doing events mm -hmm. and everything. It's but the marathon events. Those are the yes. ones that keep us on our toes for three, four days at a time. Yeah. But, Absolutely. Uh, you know what? The crew is fantastic. They're here day and night. I mean, we started yesterday with the farmer's market at 6 a.m. Yeah. We rolled out of here at 7 o'clock last night by the time the captain's meeting was over. So yeah. big, big thanks well, to Well, that's crew. always a different thing, too, because, you know, like you have them setting up for KBI while farmer's market's on, and then you got to get it's ready for nuts. registration. Like, it's just like there's no break It's definitely on that our Wednesday. fastest changeover, but teamwork all the way. We, have our, we, have, mm -hmm. we bring on extra staff to get the market out. Yeah. KBI starts earlier in the day. And I, I have to say, it, it, it goes flawlessly. Yeah. Well, and even first time experience being down here for the Mind Minor and watching you and your crew work and everything, everything went so smoothly. And we just sort of like so many pieces and so many people moving in the background mm -hmm. to accomplish this that, you know what? You never, you, you don't notice. It just, it happens. No, it's it happens. beautiful. It's flawless. So, like, again, I mean, you can't do it without this town, this city. I am proud to be a Canorian. I know it may not work, but I just made it up because I can't. Canorite. 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 I'm not sure. K-Towner. Yeah. K-Towner. K -towner. K -towner. There you go. <laughs> because hands down, we have got the best people that live here because without their support, mm -hmm. without their endless hours, the selflessness of giving, giving, giving for volunteers, Absolutely. nothing like this could happen. It's amazing. Absolutely. I'm watching some volunteers walk past right now, and they're yeah. volunteers at Harbor Fest too, so they've yeah. been going as long as we have. Yeah. Yes. They've been these, this is a marathon mm -hmm. these two mm -hmm. weeks. True. So leading up now, you know, KBI is going to go and the Lobster Fest, but I don't want to. I don't want to talk about it right now. But there's going to be a <laughs> season that's going to happen soon enough. 
um, that you know people aren't going to be able to be under the tent with those parkas. What do you, you got yes. any kind of plans? Anything? I mean, you doing the skating rink? Any kind of hints? Yeah, the this? skating rink was a big hit last year, uh -huh. so it'll definitely be back there. And we've got our winter carnival thinking caps on for sure. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's, that's yeah. the phone ringing for another event. Yeah. Like she doesn't stop. I turned stop. the ringer off. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. We're used to Chris's phone. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There I don't, go. I don't feel so bad. No. Really? Well, it's on the scaffold. It's over there. But <sighs> clearly and not And you know what? Enough. I think you're the good luck because for the first time, I'm actually the like sun? a little warm. Yeah. Like yeah. the sun is coming. A little bit out. of sunshine karma today. Uh -huh. Not bad. Try to keep it going. Crystal, thanks very much yeah. for coming on. We're going to see you again. Thank you guys so yeah. much. It's great to be back. Enjoy the KBI. Yes. And uh, we're going to do a quick break, and, and we're going to come back. Oh. We have a very special, special fuzzy guest, guest yes. coming on. Just have a look. We'll be right back. <laughs> August 18th, friends and family of Rob Blair gathered in his backyard. They were from all walks of life. Some of them held balloons, gray ones, each one signifying a year of his life lived after being diagnosed with a brain tumor. Brain tumors take too many lives. There is no cure. They are indiscriminate and can affect anyone. Your donation helps lift the burden of a brain tumor. The Duke's Power Sports, two miles west of Fort Francis on Highway 11, offer a broad variety of tools and sporting equipment and are a proud sponsor of the Lund Fort Francis Canadian Bass Championship and community programming. Online at www.thedukes.com. Welcoming all of the out-of-town anglers to the Lund Fort Francis Canadian Bass Championship is La Place Rendezvous Hotel and Convention Center, a proud sponsor of community programming. play with a bigger ball. It's called a softball, but it's not soft at all. In my game, in my game, the pitcher throws under him. Under him. Under him. In my game, in my game, we play seven innings. Seven innings of fast, fantastic fun. Softball. My game. 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 Over a quarter million Canadians call softball their game. Make it yours. Welcome back, everyone, and we have a couple special guests. First off, you know him, you've seen him a lot, the Shaw Bear. It's a good... Woo yeah, yeah. And then, of course, we also have John, faithful, faithful viewer. He watches us every day. He's kind of popped by. How are you doing, John? I'm doing good, thank you, Chris. You're quite welcome. You can't have my job no matter how much you show <laughs> up. You're not doing the weather ever again. You know uh, what? He's, you know comes. what, John? He's just saying that because he's threatened. I know he's threatened, but I know Jack will let me. <laughs> oh, you know what? <laughs> no, my friend. We got an arrangement. But thanks very much for coming on, John. <laughs> so, Mr. Shaw Bear, you're back in Kenora. You're here for another beautiful, beautiful how event. How are you? Hey. So, Go I ahead. have a question for you. I always wanted to know this. Has this been your lifelong dream to be the Shaw Bear? No. <laughs> no, no way, eh? really. It's that's kind of weird. But that's okay. That's okay because, like, you're more of a city bear, but that's okay because we are a small city and you, you love are. Kenora. You're back every year. Yes, you do. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's uh, so since becoming the Shaw Bear, though, yeah. what has been your favorite part? <laughs> oh, I. Do you like giving hugs? Can you give us a big group hug right now? Oh, oh, look at, oh John, get in here. Sandwiched. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hugs are fantastic. We love hugs, hugs. Oh. <laughs> And do you, I mean, you must love all the children and all the kids or kids KBI. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you know, you're lucky because you can walk around here and make everybody happy and you do some little jigs for us. Yeah, Have you, has yeah. anyone ever asked you to do the Gangnam style? Can you do it better than Jack? I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah, probably. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, well, there you go. Maybe, oh, look at that. Yeah. We're getting you know, a little action. The one thing I do have to say is actually, you know what? Yeah, 
So uh, it is going to be a rather nice day out today. So, I mean, Shaw Bear, you will be a little warm. Yes. But, you know, you can handle it. Um, so the next couple of days, the uh, Good Morning Colorado Weather is brought to you by Casey's. Today, a high of 17 and a low of 9. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of rain. Tomorrow, high of 18, a low of 13. But it's going to feel like 20 and partly cloudy skies. Saturday, high of 21, a low of 13. And it's going to feel like 23. So nice couple, uh, nice couple of days. So yeah, I'm sorry, John. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. To, you couldn't do the weather, but. <laughs> That's okay, Chris. But maybe tomorrow. There you oh, go. I don't know about that. Wow. And then we will be back here live again. Uh, stay for an hour. And we're going to have so much more guests, so come on down if you want to come and join us. Just say hi, give shout outs, do Absolutely. like the whole things with happy birthdays and everything. Come on down. Perfect. And don't forget today, uh, you know what? Check out the, the way in. We yeah. will be broadcasting it at 4 o'clock today. Go. And then you can also come down and check out the way in. And the next couple of days, Shaw will be broadcasting. It'll be great. Yeah. And the and hot don't seat. don't forget, hot seat, the easy home hot, hot seat, seat will be up there. We'll be back on this hot seat tomorrow. Thank, so Lowry's. thank Lowry's, of course, for all the Bristol board and everything to do our signage. They've been awesome. Been and fantastic. everything, the Shaw Bear. Mm -hmm. Thanks for everyone coming down. Yeah. yeah. You know what? And thanks for the viewers. Thanks for uh, sticking with us for the hiatus. And now we're back. Yeah. So every day you can tune in and see two of your most favorite people in the whole world. <laughs> and I'm not talking John. Shaw Bear and, and Tracy. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see thanks, you tomorrow. Everyone. Have a great day. <laughs> This episode of GMK is brought to you by the Devil's Gap Marina, located at the end of Matheson Bay Road and open all year round.